All right. Good morning, everybody. Happy Wednesday, everyone. How's everybody doing on this beautiful day of the 8 8 18? Oh, look at that. All eights. Feel lucky. Love the eights. I was born on the 18th. Eight is a is a good luck a good luck number. All right, good to see you all. Wow, I feel good about today. Good, good, good. To see Lawrence, Nancy, Curry, look at all those great names. Craig, Benito, Andrea, what's up, Bill, Fred, Gary, George. There you go, Sid. Everyone. All right, all cyber traders, let's get ready to roll. We got some good news going on. Got some good stocks going on. We had that one stock that's making already pretty well. Big movement. In the A, B, I, L, a lot of you guys have already been trading in pre-market. Look how gorgeous that stock has been since 8.30. We've been trading already. It's been about 45, 40 minutes already. If you got in here early, which you're supposed to, you should already be up about $1,000 uh, on 1,000 shares. A lot of you remember this stock very clearly. We traded this stock not too long ago uh, back here and being um, – in June, this went from 28, 290 up to 14 bucks. So, and so you got good support and resistance levels. You got great iceberg orders over here on the matrix. So we're gonna go back. We're gonna check it out. But before we do that and talk about uh, all these stocks that were on our watch list, let's talk about what happened yesterday. Hold on one second. Let me share my screen. Got the wrong screen up there and running. go number six there we go all right we're I'm, I'm recording it but oh but uh, on the webinar I wasn't really broadcasting on the right one so let me just bring this back up so we could see that uh, again come on come on come on come on all right so as as um, as the ABIL is coming up and you're going to be seeing um, obviously some a lot of you could see it that's up there we're going to go look and talk about what happened yesterday because we had some good moves uh, yesterday in a couple of stocks first of all the Hertz all right so Hertz just want to bring that up Hertz had a great great rally um, you know, I'll be honest with you, all these car stocks, uh, you know, they want to say, but they really got hurt a lot regarding Uber. And uh, like I told you, I just came back from Chicago. And, uh, do you know, listen, I thought New York City was expensive to park a car. Do you know what it cost to park a car in, in Chicago? It was like 60 to $70. Sometimes it was more money than staying at the hotel for, for a car. It's ridiculous. So, I mean, why would you want, would you need a car anyway? You, can, you leave, you're going back to the airport, wherever it is. But anyway, uh, a lot of car stocks getting getting hurt. But, you know, that's just my two cents. But you could see that the stock did really well. So, don't hold it against them. Money's money. You could see it had major resistance levels. It was a great move for us yesterday. Let me just fix the little ticker right here. Stock came right out of the gate. Beautiful from 16 all the way to 20. You're talking about almost a $4 move. I mean, it was a no-brainer. You saw resistance levels back in June. So everybody did really well on that one. TIS, another nice little move yesterday. Stock took a big, big hit from 380 down to 220. Stock had a nice little pop right there, right at a pre-gate, right at a pre-market. Stock went right back where it started, took a big hit. It was this $15 stock. Great little uh, dead cap bounce right there. ETSY. Another nice little move right there on the short. A little bit more on the expensive side, but that stock gapped up pretty uh, pretty nicely. But sure enough, boom, just t tanked. And it was a great short going into the close. I mean, we had – some of you guys did really well on this at 46. Listen, once it was testing the lower lows uh, and, and the low of the day, I mean, that was really a no-brainer. Right at right around uh, right around two o'clock, you see it went from forty six dollars to forty three. Great, great winner. Only bad thing it was a little on the expensive side. Not all of us um, really couldn't afford to trade something so expensive, you know. And then obviously the EKSO that one was also not as nice as the other ones, but that one uh, did pretty well. Anyway, a lot of people did pretty well on that. Doug did really well on the ETSI. He made uh, me about sixty cents on that one. Uh, let me get my. Uh, I always like to uh, always like to tell everyone how good they did. From what I can remember, a lot of people did pretty well. Give him a round of applause. Gary also he did pretty well on the EKSO. He made about twenty cents, twenty five cents. Give him a round of applause. And by the way, the the Hertz and the ETSI both are good on um, all good on earnings. So. Now, whoops, wrong screen. All right, there we go. So let's talk about what's going on um, 
what's going on this morning. Yes, uh, a nice little roller coaster. We'll talk about that, Ben, was the Tesla. T um, let me bring it up. T um, Tesla. Uh, rumor has it that Tesla. Uh -huh. There we go. Uh, that uh, the owner wants to buy back his stock. He wants to get out of the public business. He doesn't like it. And honestly, I personally, Dell did the same thing. You know, don't underestimate you know, big corporations. Everyone thinks being a public company is, you know, uh, is rainbows and puppy uh, and uh, puppy dogs. It's not. You know what I mean? Sometimes it, it, it's it's kind of cruel. And uh, so that was the rumor. But what a great little rally right there. Stock went up about 100 points. Uh, when that announcement kind of came out, you could see it went from like uh, 290 all the way to about 3, 380. Great, great rally. But, you know, listen, a lot of us will know we can't afford it. But you know what? That in that situation, you could trade. You could do an option trade. So that one, you, you, I don't know if you guys know this, but you can day trade options. And uh, that was actually something that you could have did really pretty damn well on it. A um, couple of the stocks. Uh, so let's talk about what's moving. And we're going to get back to the ABIL, but uh, the other rumor is it that Snap uh, got some big funding. I didn't know one of the, the prints, uh, the, guy, the, the guy from Saudi Arabia, put over a quarter of a billion dollars in Snapchat. They lost 3 million users. I was reading it this morning. I'm like, wow, that sounds like a lot of users, but they had, what, 150, 150? 30 million users. I'm like, what the hell's 3 million users? If you got 130 million users, can you imagine us losing? That's like us losing. Uh, we got a thousand traders and we lost like three people. <laughs> it's like, okay, not really not at the end of the world, but uh, but anyway, they got a lot of funding. But we, we trade Snapchat, you know, we 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 stock got a little nasty sometimes, got a little ugly, pretty volatile, it's got some decent volume, great pre market. I don't know if I'm really going to trade it, but I'm going to keep it on the watch list. Um, a couple of you guys also bringing up the pizza trade, PZZA. That one took a big, big hit. You could see it went from 55 down to 41. Um, you, earnings came out, wasn't too well. One thing we know about this one, it's not a pharmaceutical stock. So, you know, uh, definitely gonna, definitely a nice little stock. This is Papa John's. And... Uh, you know, listen, that whole thing about the CEO uh, resigning, now, now he's trying to sue him. I don't know what's going on with that story. But anyway, you know, it's amazing where uh, something so, uh, you know, how can I say it? So personal, people take it. Like, just guy puts his opinion and could just destroy the stock. Would you ever think of that? So anyway, for us as traders... Where there's catastrophes, there's opportunities. So anyway, Pizza uh, Papa John's going to be on our watch list. All right, a couple other ones. SBBL. I want to go through this pretty quick because you guys need to get out there and start trading. MTCH. That's the one. Match. Match got a nice little push going on right here. Uh, what is this? Match.com. So anyway, that stock is moving pretty well. It's got a um, no match group. Stock's got a nice, uh, had really good earnings yesterday. Nice little pop, nice nice little trend. It is going to be testing major resistance levels going back into June. So you got to be a little cautious on that one. Anyway, this company always does pretty well on Valentine's Day. <laughs> ETP. Uh, where am I? ENDP. Here's another stock that gapped up pretty nicely. Not only has it been a good day trade, uh, it's been a great swing trade. But as a day trader now, it gapped up so much. I don't know if I really want to day trade it. You know, it's testing some um, support levels from pre-market. You got, you can see, you have some 4,000 share buyers out here. Nice little big buyer out here at a whole number. We all know what that means. So we'll put that one on the watch list. A uh, couple of now, listen. There's a couple of nice little shorts. ENDP. Uh, Waiting for the data to come up. Okay. ENDP, uh, I'm sorry, EXTR. There we go. Let me bring up that one. So EXTR, I don't know if it's on your short list. This stock is taking a big, big hit. The stock was pretty good early in pre-market, around 780. You could have gotten around 740, now it has 690. Listen, you can see the sellers out there. Look for those iceberg orders. That one looks pretty good. TWU, NK, another one stock. Look for the bounce. Um, you can see stock from 14 down to 11. It's testing some major support levels going back in the beginning of the year. That one looks pretty good. Also, look at the short on BECN. It's another one I found. Um, it's kind of holding pretty good here on that support levels right around the 35. But if she does break it, 
you know, then uh, the stock can really take a big hit. But the only thing that it looks like it's good, it's breaking year, yearly lows. So that kind of really gets me a little nervous. But yesterday's previous support levels is kind of holding pretty strong there. So that is a very, very good indi indication. Also, look at the buyers out there on your matrix. You know, look, see if you see them out there. Not really a lot of buyers sitting out there yet. So with a lot of hundreds, not really a thousand share of stock that we want to look at. All right, guys. So uh, that's about it. We got a very good go – and then the ABIO. Put that one there. It looks like a backed right off right there. All right. Listen, you know what? Profit taking. But remember, that stock did go up to 15, and we did pretty well on that uh, back in you know back in uh, June. So this stock, we do know it moves. Anything I'm missing, guys, I did not call out? Good call out there. Nancy and Ben on the pizza trade. All right. Even though they missed earnings, <laughs> it's always about what they project, not just on the earnings, but what they're projecting uh, the following in the future. No problem. You're more than welcome, Ken. By the way, Ken, that Kung Fu fighting song we just heard just remind me of you. I don't know. I just want to tell you that. We're all fighting in the trading, right? Always, always out there in the cyber group room trying to make money. So we got to fight for uh, – we got to fight with these market makers to kind of profit from the, the, you know, what they're trying to hide from us. So we're just following that coattail. Did you mention the SBBP? The, you know what the, this one, the, you know what I, I, I was looking at it, and you know I'll put it on the watch list. I, I don't know. I, I kind of got a little turned off. I had a big rally and it started breaking lower lows. It's the only reason why I wasn't too crazy about it. All right. Joe, that was the only thing. All right, everyone. So let's get ready to start trading. Uh, remember, today is Wednesday. It's hump day. Uh, what's going to happen going into this weekend? Um, it's going to be gorgeous. It's a nice day here. Let's try to capitalize as much as we can going into the week. And uh, enjoy our weekend, guys. All right? But uh, remember, let's hit them hard early. And you know that... Volume dies up pretty quickly right after about an hour when the market opens up, and then we get that last push going to close. So try not to fo try to focus on the most volatile, time volatile times. Whatever you missed yesterday, listen, that's old news. Let's focus on today. All right. Always gives you the um, always makes you feel uh, excited that there's opportunities every day. So go out there and do it. And hopefully all you new trial members that are here enjoying yourself, been watching, listening, talk to Education Advisor. And, uh, and don't forget tomorrow we have another open house. So, so hopefully see you then. Good luck, guys. Happy trading.